I'm at 525 Loomis. And this area is pretty close to Fort Carson. I, I would not consider this a bad area at all. I mean, one thing you can never pick is your neighbors. There's a lot of cars, but could be awesome people. <laughs> but I have a lot of military people who do move to this area because they want to be close to Fort Carson and they don't want a long commute and this would be that. All right, let's head inside. A little side yard for you. And it does back B Street, which once again, if you ask people at Fort Carson, what do you think about B Street? Their missile thoughts, their initial thoughts gonna be, oh my gosh, don't go anywhere near that. But there's other there's different sections of B Street. Some parts I absolutely 100% agree. This part, I would not so much agree with that. Oh, I always say this when I go in, I had COVID um, 18 months ago. So like a year and a half ago, my smell has not really come back. So I cannot tell you if a home smells or if it does not smell. So I'm not saying the home smells. I'm just saying I cannot tell you if it does or if it does not. All right, that's the garage. So the main things I look for through homes are um, structural things. And that, that's my, my big thing that I look for while walking through a home. Because other cosmetic stuff can always be fixed. But I look for the major stuff, and the major, really only major thing is structural. Alright, so you do have a lot of space between you and your neighbors, at least from the back. So you're never going to have a neighbor behind you. Those are train tracks back there, but they go to the Fort Carson, so they're not used really. I'm not going to say ever at all, but they are pretty rarely used. All right, I'll head back in, check out the rest of the house. So this home does have floorboard heating, baseboard heating, which not a bad thing. It just means you're not gonna be able to get central air conditioning set up in an easy fashion. So, cause there's no duct work throughout the house. So you're not gonna be able to have AC set up in the traditional way. If you do want air conditioning and it gets it gets a little bit warm. You'll wish you had it maybe a month and a half, two months out of the year. So it's not like you're... It just feels like there's a weird little step down right in this transition. I don't think it's anything structural because I only feel it right there. But it doesn't feel totally... Like right, right about right there, it feels a little off. But just an observation. If it was more stuff around there, I might say it's structural, but... I would not necessarily say that with this situation, but that's also why you have the inspection done. And you would see it, well, I say you see cracks in tile. There's one hairline crack right there, but I don't know. I don't think it's, I personally don't think it's an issue because I don't see cracks in the corners of the walls at all, like in the corners where the door jam meets. That's where you typically see cracks. Well, I say that, and there's a little crack right there. So, could potentially be a structural thing, but we'll see if we see more cracks in the walls as we go through here. So I have a lot of homes to film for you today. This is the first one I'm doing. I'm not sure what order you'll be listening to these videos in, but a basement, go check out the basement. Real estate rule is typically to start upstairs and work your way down. Or you can start main level, then go up, then down. So you got yeah. vertical, horizontal, horizontal cracks here. So maybe I'd... Eh, I, I don't want to say there's structural issues because I'm not a structural engineer. But there are some signs of structural issues here. Oh, yeah, here's a crack right through there. So I'm going to go through quickly the rest of this home. And this basement floor feels very uneven right here. Like I'm falling right here. So like it falls way down from there to there. So I'm just quickly walk through the rest of this. Just, oh, another, another crack right there. So yeah, I'm going to go quickly through this because I don't want to, I, I have so many videos of my kids on here. 
I can't fit super long videos on here. There's a boiler system, which once again, and laundry, once again, it's totally fine to have that type of system in here, but it just really means you're not able to set up air conditioning in the house. It easily anyways, you can, it just won't be easy. All right, so I'm gonna quickly go through here just so I don't burn up all my space on my phone. All right, master up here. I'm assuming this is the master. Got some deck access out here with nice mountain views. That's pretty cool. That's actually really nice. A little sitting area up there. So there's your air conditioning. It would cool off this room, then the cold air would trickle down to the lower levels. So I don't see a ton of evidence of settling up here, but the, oh, uh, well, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I wouldn't touch this home with a 10 foot pole unless you want to do a lot of work. Or if you, if you love the home, we could say, hey sellers, we want the home, but any structural issues have to be fixed. That's always an option as well. So yeah, this is the first home I'm filming for you. Hopefully you like my filming style. And I usually take a little more time in the homes, but this one I'm assuming is a no-go because of structural stuff. But yeah, all right, that's it.